good YouTube it's your boy CJ's matrix um, back with another video man so uh, a lot of people asking comments and asking um, why I never did a um, what's it called taking delivery of the 300 y'all can see I'm in the 300 on my way home from work um, why I never did a taking delivery video that's because I videoed this shit and I got a new phone and I lost all the goddamn video footage but just found out my wife uh she was videoing well I remember she was videoing and she had some footage so I got some footage of it and um a lot of people be asking me how did I get the car how was I able to contact um Kyle SRT to even buy the car so um basically um he has a shop also Kyle SRT shop was something on Instagram and I saw him post a car and um I jumped on this shit as so, soon as I seen him post it um I, I DM'd him and um no I DM'd him and then he shot me a number phone number and uh I believe I it's his brother too his brother um his brother hit me up it was his brother's number his brother hit me up and then i basically did business with his brother so i, I didn't have any fucking any um contact with kyle srt for real so but this is the car that he built y'all can see um seat belts and shit um the yellow seat belts stars all that good shit but um i'm a um I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna when I get done driving this shit. I'm gonna uh, do a walkthrough because also um, um, I've had the car for like six months now, six seven months, something like that. Um, I'm willing to part ways with it if the price is right. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all can see I drive the car. Today is actually uh, today is actually fucking um, Wednesday, but I normally only drive the cars on. I only drive it in good weather, for one. Sunny, no rain, on that that bullshit. But, um, I normally only drive it on... Yeah, so, um, I normally only drive the car on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, it's like a weekend car, basically. So, um, but, um, yeah, I'm willing to part ways with it. The price is right. Like I said, um, it has 28... 28 uh, I can't zoom in this hole. They got 28 28,816 miles on that motherfucker. So um if you look at uh let me find it. Um this motherfucker the range on that motherfucker, you see the range right now is 225. You ain't gonna find too many red eyes with 225 uh Goddamn, um, the range on there. My, uh, goddamn. My went out. Okay. The, um, the fuel mileage it says the average is 15, but I don't know. That's, that's pretty high, um, for these cars anyway. For, for the average motherfucker, so I don't be dogging it whole. I only drive this bitch for real, for real to work and shit, and sometimes on Sunday fun day and shit. But I ain't dog this hoe. This motherfucker be. Um, I I took care of it the best of my ability. So but anyway, but I'm willing to sell this motherfucker if the price is right. People been hitting me up. I posted it on Facebook. People been hitting me up like left and right. A lot of people, but. Most motherfuckers ain't trying to buy. They trying to get information on on how to on how to contact Kyle SRT. But I I believe I believe his brother told me that his last the car he's building right now that um, Trackhawk 300 is his last 300 that he's building. But I'm pretty sure if you got the money, if the price is right, he'll build he'll keep building the motherfuckers. But you know, because he be building them for for um, famous people and shit, athletes and fucking entertainers and shit. But um, anyway, um, 
I'm gonna insert the clip of when I first got the car. When I first got the car, I think it looked totally different than it look now. I had to, I had to, I had got it uh, paint correct. So it got here on a on a trailer. Um, it was right next to the fucking the uh, the, ca the, uh, the cab. So all the fucking smoke, exhaust smoke from the trailer was all over the fucking car. So it looked it. It looked rough as fuck when I got this bitch. When I got it, I was like, what the fuck? I ain't gonna lie, I was kinda a little a little down on that. I was like, God damn, this whole look don't look like it looked in the in the video, but it was but that was only because um that was only because um it had all that soot, smoke, exhaust shit all over the fucking car. But um I be driving this whole eco mode and shit all the time, but um, but yeah. So I had quite a few things done to it. So I'll put I'll put like I said I'll put the video up. But um, off the top of my head, some things that I done to it. I have a lighting trim, uh, the headlights and um, and halo, underglow, and engine bay grill lights i have engine bay grill lights underglow and the headlights and the halos um so the hood if you if y'all remember the video when he made the car the hood he he did his first you know cutout you know he did a cutout and he had a plexiglass on there so the problem with that was the plexiglass touched touched the supercharger and the supercharger would burn burn the plexiglass so it had like a black line on it I didn't like that, you know what I'm saying? So instead of buying well instead of waiting, I have a problem with waiting on shit. I can't stand waiting on I can't stand waiting for something. When I pay my money for something, having to wait on it. So the hood, I was thinking about buying a new hood, one of the hoods that everybody else have, you know what I'm saying? But I was like I was like, you know what, let me go see if these other people I seen the it's a shop out here called Pep Eleven. I've been seeing them. Um, I saw them put a the see-through um, little sight glass joint on the track hog. So I was like, I wonder if they can do that shit to my shit. So I went up there to them, and um, actually I had them at the Red Eye Vents. He had a, a messed up Charger um, Red Eye hood. So he took the vents out of that joint, and he insert them into my factory hood as well as he had to cut the hole out the existing hole that Kyle SRT cut he had to cut that out some more and um and yeah he was able to put the Z01 type plexiglass on top of the uh, glass I don't know what kind of glass it is but glass on top of that so um I don't know if y'all you can see it on top right there you can see the vent you can see the vents on, on both sides but yeah, so um, I had them do that. That cost a, a pretty little penny. You know what I'm saying? It cost to have that done cost more than the fucking hood would have cost. So, my, so my factory hood cost more than the fucking aftermarket 300 hood or whatever, whatever any kind of style you can get. Me having me paying them to do that shit, the, the custom shit, cost more than that. But anyway, so I did that done. I mean, I got that done. The hood. Um, the seat belt so it had a check engine light that was the check engine light wasn't on all the time but when i put my seat belt on the fucking check engine light to come on i'm like what the fuck so i had that checked out and basically the the buckle the buckle mechanism for the seat belt need to be changed out and um Rush hour traffic. I ain't trying to be in the goddamn lights like that. But um, but anyway, so um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the buckle part, the buckle part of the seatbelt had to be changed out. It had some kind of malfunction or some shit in there. Um, but other than that, man, like I said, I don't have no check engine lights on this joint. The motherfucker A one, bro. Um, there's no check engine lights on there whatsoever. Motherfucker do what they do. They get down. But, um... So, what else?
else I do. Um, I lowered it, so it had. So when I got it, I had it had 22s on it. It had 22, the five spoke 22s that everybody do on all the Hellcat swaps. I wanted to be different, and I went and got the replica um, wide body Challenger um, wheels. So I went in, in their 20s. So I took the 22s off. I lowered it. I have the Ibach lower wrench springs. Ibach Sport Pro. I don't know which one for the Hellcats. So I don't know which one it is. But anyway, I lowered it. And um, what else did I do? Oh, I had the brake calipers repainted. Um, they also have, now they have the SRT with the Hellcat logo on them. Um, I got new new badges uh, new badges on the on the back on the back trunk and and in the grill the the grill badge says 300 um, 300 with a Hellcat emblem on it the back one is just uh, SRT with the Hellcat and they both are uh, yellow and yellow and black to match you know the theme yellow and black everything yellow and black in this joint but um, uh, what else I did? Um, the supercharger uh, lid I had that powder coated to match the yellow. It's yellow. Um, I had I had quite a few things done to it since I've had it. Um, but um, but yeah, man, the price is right. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to let it go. Don't need to let it go, but I'm willing to let it go. I got something else playing, but I, I actually, I actually love the car, man. It's fun. You got the, still got the 300 knob. A lot of the cars still have, have the whole fucking charger interior. This one still got the, the Chrysler clock, all that shit. This right here, the SRT. I don't know if y'all can see it. That joint lights up. They got the white light up. Yeah, man. So, um, like I said, um, it's for sale. Um, I'll put a link of of the shop, the car SRT shop that I contacted them on, so y'all can. But hey, he be selling, he be selling parts and shit on there all the time. I see it on Instagram, he be selling parts and shit on there all the time. So, but um, but I but I'll put a. a picture or a caption or some shit of it on here so y'all know you know what I'm saying um, how I got in contact with them and, um, but yeah um, them, this motherfucker for sale man I'm trying to move, move to the next chapter Car. 
I always tell the red eyes and the Hellcats from the Hellcats. This right here is orange, red eyes, demons. This is black. I think a demon. That bitch might be. I don't know. Black on the red eyes. Motherfucker, hit me up, like I said, or just comment what you think about the bitch, the build. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I I just did little touch ups. Oh yeah, added the uh, the LED reflectors in the front and back. I did that shit. Like I said I had it uh, ceramic coated, paint corrected and ceramic coated. Um, you can see. See right here, motherfucker, dusty as hell. You just wipe that shit right off. Dusty from being in the damn garage, and I guess from driving. I drive like fucking an hour to work, hour back and shit. But yeah. yeah, that's the car, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Appreciate it.